I got a special video for y'all today. If you're having a hard time shooting, you can't shoot in this game, don't worry. Young Dirky Dirk is here to help you out. Now listen, I get asked stuff like this all the time. Dirk, why can't I shoot? Why do I miss wide open? Why am I going seven for seven one game and then going 0 for 10 the next? I don't get it. What if I told you that after you watch this video, you'll never be asking any questions like that ever again? I got five tips and tricks that are going to 100% guaranteed make you a better shooter. That is a promise. This video applies to all builds, any builds, any three point rating. It does not matter. Now, if this is your first time seeing my channel, it is your lucky day because you're now able to subscribe to me and become a 2K God. So not only you're getting a tutorial, you're now going to get more tutorials for the rest of the year and years to come. Let's get this video to 1K likes so my girl doesn't leave me for not getting views i'd really appreciate it well she probably won't leave me because on christmas i'm gonna win on prize picks and that's because katie just needs one point and we all win uh if katie doesn't score one point i will give you your money back myself i've also been doing fairly okay on prize picks which is another reason why she hasn't left me yet but we don't gotta talk about that but uh the link is in the description uh, if you use code young dirk they will deposit match you for up to 100 dollars so if you deposit 10, they'll give you 10. If you deposit 50, they'll give you 50 and so on and so on. I highly recommend downloading the app and taking advantage of the free square. Again, the link is in the description. Use code Young Dirk. Each tip has a few like small individual tips in each one. So make sure you're paying attention. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to turn your meter off. You want to turn it off because you get a increase of 20% in your green green window size. Your green window is the timing or like the range of where you release the shot and it becomes green. So if you can make that bigger by 20%, why would you not do that? That is a huge advantage and I really need you to turn it off. I know this is scary for a lot of players and they're like, no, I can't time my shot like that. Well, you need to learn, okay? You need to turn your shot meter off. The next thing in tip one is in your settings, I want you to only use push or release. The reason why I want you to use push or release is because of the speed ups and slowdowns. The more time you have to think, the more time you're able to see if it's a speed up or a slowdown and you're able to adjust your shot dependent on that. And once you choose push or release, I want you to stick to it for a while. Don't change it, okay? Because then it's going to screw up your head, your visual cue, your muscle memory, all that stuff. I'll explain this more in detail in a bit. Now on to tip two, and this has a few parts in it. Again, the first part of tip two is getting a good jump shot. Here is my jump shot for the player that was in this video. This is my 6'4". And then here is the jump shot I use on my 6'6 and my 6'9". These are both very good jump shots. I have other jump shot videos as well. And if you wanna find the perfect jump shot for you, you can use 2K Lab, use code Dirk for a discount. That's where I get all of my personal jump shots. Link in the description, use code Dirk. Getting a good jump shot is super, super important because I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. If I didn't have a good jump shot, I would still be a good shooter, but I definitely would not be elite. A good jump shot really, really matters. Now, important, important, important. Please listen. Once you find a good jump shot, that's, you know, that is, statistically a proven good shot or you get it from me i want you to stick to it okay don't just put it on for a day and switch actually use it for a few days to a week you want to get down the visual cue and the muscle memory i don't recommend going off of just your muscle memory i want you to rely more on your visual cue every time i shoot a shot i will literally know if it is a green or a miss because I just know like I have my visual cue down so well that I just know that's how you guys need to be and for those who don't know what the visual cue is I will dumb it down as much as I can it's the spot where you release the ball and it turns green find a good jump shot stick to it practice it learn it master it a lot of people are bad shooters because they keep trying out new shots 
and blame the shot instead of themselves, which sometimes it is true that the shot is just a bad shot. But sometimes people will put on a shot that actually is good and they won't take the time to learn it and they'll end up changing their shot again and it'll turn into a cycle that won't ever end. They'll put on a new shot, they'll say this shot sucks, they can't shoot, new shot, they can't shoot, new shot, they can't shoot, etc., etc. Tip three is knowing what's actually a good shot. Now, anybody can say, I know this is a good shot and this is a bad shot. That is not true, because this is 2K. This is not real life. Use your shot feedback. Make sure you turn it on for all shots and try out tons of shots, okay? Or watch top players, watch streamers, watch YouTubers and look at the types of shots that they take and always look at the percentage. You'd be surprised a lot of shots that you think would be contested are open or wide open. On a serious note, you need to really try out shots. You have to try and fail to learn and improve. Anytime you play, okay, anytime, pay attention to that shot feedback and learn from it and improve. I still do this. I am still trying to learn what shots I can and cannot take. Now, of course, I'm already obviously very good at this, but I wager a lot and I wanna be the best player I could possibly be. Tip number four seems very easy and common sense, but a lot of people don't take it as serious as they should. And that is getting your hot zones and your lethal zone. I always try to make sure I have my entire core almost covered in hot zones because I want that extra boost and it does help, okay? It's not a myth, it definitely does help. And then you wanna do your art of shooting drills every week to make sure you get your lethal zones. And the boost you get from lethal zones is absolutely enormous, so make sure you are taking that serious and do them every week. I highly recommend getting your lethal zones in the shots you shoot the most in. Don't waste them in some weird zone that you, that you can't shoot in but you don't ever shoot there. Make sure you use your lethal zones in the shots you shoot the most frequently. If you want to check this out, you can go to your player card right here and look right here and you can see where you are shooting the most. Tip number five, sounds cliche, sounds too easy to be true, but it is so true and I still do it. And that is literally just practicing, okay? Go in the Gatorade facility every day, just 10 minutes, 10 minutes, okay? Learn your jump shot in there, learn your visual cue and practice. And you can do this drill that I do all the time. The drill that I do is I go in there and I can't leave until I green 10 shots in a row. And then sometimes I wanna bump it up to 15 and then 20. And yes, bro, you can green 20 shots in a row if you know your shot. If I really tried, bro, and I was sweating, I would probably make 97, 95 out of 100, bro, because I know my shot that well. And I know people are gonna be like, Dirk, I'm not gonna practice, it's 2K. Like, no, bro, I understand it's a game, but you have to practice if you wanna be a really good shooter, bro. Practice, please. 10 minutes a day, you will thank me when you are shooting better, okay? Now that you're able to shoot, you need the combos to get open. That video is on screen. I highly recommend watching that as well. Hope this helped you guys out. Drop a like if it did. Have a good day. Go out. <laughs>